Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with my royal season. As you will recall, the last video, we not only did the offseason and all of the acquisitions and showed the lineups and who we're going to have on our 26-man roster uh, for the start of the season, but we also played the first game. Accidentally, I ran the first game of the season against the Astros, and as you can see up here, we lost 5-1. to one. Let's take a look at that box score. Um, the Astros winning one nothing, And so we are in the second game of the season. We're going to the second game of the season against the Astros. I wanted to do this one instead of skipping ahead in the season because the Astros should be a good team. And so if we're going to win, if we're going to be a decent team, how we play against the Astros will go a long way towards um, showing what uh, what kind of team we can be. Uh, we started Lazardo. He went five and a third innings, allowed seven hits, two earned runs, but then Lynch came in and just got destroyed and gave up three runs without getting an out, and then Crochet had to finish things up. So with that in mind, we are going to the next game and this is the lineups and the pitching for our next game uh, as you can see our lineup will be Bobby Witt Jr. at third base uh, Michael Massey at second base uh, Salvi Perez will be the catcher batting third Vinny Pasquatino will be the first baseman uh, Franmil Reyes is the DH Edward Olivares the right fielder. The lineup really isn't much different than our year one lineup, than our 2023 lineup. Uh, Kyle Isbell in center. Uh, then Wad Drew Waters will be the left fielder. He is new, I think. And uh, then Nicky Lopez at shortstop. So we had everybody last year on, in this lineup except Waters. And our pitcher will be, uh, what is his, what's his full name? Uh, Alejandro Maline will be our starter. So for them, for the Astros, you've got a familiar lineup of uh, Jose Altuve leading off, Yandy Diaz, the DH, batting second, uh, uh, Jose Abreu, the first baseman, batting third, Kyle Tucker, the left fielder, batting fourth, uh, Lee, the catcher, I'm not familiar with him, he might be new, then... Um, McCormick will be in right field batting 6th. Uh, Jeremy Pena, the shortstop, is batting 7th. Hensley, the third baseman, batting 8th. And um, Dubon will be the center fielder for them. And they will have Lance McCullers Jr. on the mound. So that's what we are up against. And so let's get this game going. And you can see there's uh, McCullers out there. And he'll be pitching to Bobby Witt. And there, we're in Houston, so it's Minute Maid Park. And let's see what happens here. We got uh, Witt grounding out to second. So there's one out quickly. And up steps Michael Massey. Michael Massey hit really well for us in 2023, and it looks like he wants to continue that here in 2024 as he gets a base hit to right field. And up steps Selvi. Salvador Perez and he is looks like going to pop out behind the infield to the second baseman El Tuve and then we've got Vinny Pasquatino up with two down and a man aboard and Vinny Pasquatino gives this a ride but it is played by their center fielder I believe that's McCormick uh, could be wrong on that but uh, we're going to the bottom of the first, and our man Malane is out there batting or pitching against Jose El Tuve. And that is a nice rendering of Jose El Tuve. And Jose El Tuve gets a base hit to left field. The left fielder couldn't get in and play that in time. Uh, I'm going to do a pitch out just in case El Tuve has any ideas of going. Apparently he doesn't. And that's going to be a strikeout. So 
There's one down with Altuve at first, and uh, Jose Abreu is the batter, and he is going to hit one to center field, and that's played. There's two down, Altuve still at first, and Kyle Tucker is the batter. And this time he does steal, but we're not going to get him. And Kyle Tucker strikes out. So a nice uh, inning, first inning for our man Mullane. Most of our changes this year are in the pitching staff, not in the uh, lineup. The lineup is pretty much what it was last year. And Reyes is going to ground out to first base. There's one down, but that could go a long way towards improving our team overall. Oliveris is up, and especially considering how uh, out of the park treats the players. For instance, uh, Michael Massey last year was great. I mean, he was great for us, but he was not nearly that good in real life in 2023. So we'll see how uh, the game translates our, our players, but also how our new pitchers like Mullane um, come out. And Corey Lee. Corey Lee is probably a real catcher. Um, and he walks Corey Lee and up steps McCormick, the right field. No, McCormick is in right, so not center field. And that was a big base hit for them. They're going to have runners at second and third on that double. And no outs. And Jeremy Pena up. And it hits Jeremy Pena, so now he's got the bases loaded. Mullane in trouble. Let's see if he can work his way out of this. And there is a double play, but they score a run on the double play. I think I would take that trade off any day and twice on Sunday. And Mauricio Dubon is up, and that looks like it'll be a fly ball to center. So a um, lot of men on base there for Mullane, but he only allows the one run, and it's one nothing. As Lance McCullers goes back out to the mound to pitch against us, and that's going to be a ground out to short. For one out very quickly and up steps Nicky Lopez I believe is our last hitter in the lineup and that is going to be a great diving catch so uh, yeah Hensley makes a great diving catch over there at third and uh, up steps Bobby Witt with two down and he strikes out now he didn't have a very good year in year one in the 2023 season that we did so hopefully he gets better and lives up to the expectations that the game has. And that is going to be, looks like a home run. That is a home run. A leadoff homer right there for Jose Altuve. So now Houston leads 2-0. And uh, Mullane dealing and he walks the next guy. Which brings up Jose Abreu. And Jose Abreu walks. So Mullane having a rough start, rough first start for uh, to his, I believe, major league career. And that is going to be a ground, uh, 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 it's going to be a base hit to left field. The bases are again loaded with no outs. And, um, and we're already losing 2 nothing. And here's Corey Lee, the catcher. And Corey Lee, the catcher, is going to fly deep to center. But that should get the run home from third. And it does. And Houston has a 3-0 lead. Runners at the corners, one down, and Chaz McCormick. And Chaz McCormick is going deep. Are you kidding me? So Mullane not, uh, not getting off to the best of starts here to his career. Now again, it is Houston. Houston is a very good team. You would expect that they would be a very good team. So we are playing one of the better teams in the American League. Um, but uh, you uh, don't like to see this. You would like to have thought you know, we could have at least been competitive against the Astros, but losing game one, five to one, and now losing this game in the third, six nothing, it does not seem like we're going to be very competitive against uh, Houston. And so we probably still have a long way to go. Uh, but down 6 nothing, uh, Michael Massey is the batter. And uh, he is going to get a base hit. So he gets a board. 
Got a lot of work to do here, though, and uh, against McCullers, who is a tough customer. Um, Perez is the batter, and he strikes out. And that brings to the plate Vinny Pasquatino. And Vinny Pasquatino is going to fly out. I thought he maybe could have split the gap with that, but he didn't. And Fran Mil Reyes is up and striking out. So we're going to send Mullane out there. I mean, you know, he needs to get his growing pains in. And we need to preserve the bullpen as much as we can. And there's a strikeout to the first batter, and that brings to the plate Yainer Diaz. And he is going to ground out to short. So there's two down quickly, Mullane recovering nicely. Um, after that disastrous last inning that he had. He does allow a base hit here, though, but there's two down. And uh, Kyle Tucker up. And Kyle Tucker hits one right down the line and foul, but it is caught by the right fielder. And he's out of the inning. And here we go with Edward Olivares, the batter, and he walks. Up steps Kyle Isbell, the center fielder, and he's going to strike out. One down, Drew Waters, the left fielder. And Drew Waters is going shopping at the... Nah, not quite shopping at the gap. But yeah, he is. It's going to be a double. A double for Drew Waters. Uh, the Astros couldn't get that one in in time. Uh-oh. We got an injury, it looks like, possibly. Um... And that was probably Waters, and he is the left fielder, so we're going to have to bring in a guy. We'll bring in Melendez. And um, hopefully that's not a bad injury, but we will see after the game. So make sure you stay tuned for that, because I'm sure we're going to get an update on what happened with him. And that is going to be a walk. So we got the bases loaded here with only one down. And Bobby Witt up now. If he could hit a home run, well, he's going to get a base hit. And that might drive in two. Does it drive in two? No, just one. So it's 5-1. Uh, bases are still loaded. Massey, if he could get a base hit, he's going to squib one out in front of the plate. And is everybody safe on that? No, that was a double play. Are you kidding? A double play. All right, uh, we're going to make Melendez the left fielder. And then we're going to go back to game action. And uh, so we only got one run there. That was kind of depressing. And then we're dealing with these guys hitting bombs all over the field. That one, luckily, was a fly out. There's one down, and uh, Chaz McCormick is up. We're in the, uh, I believe, the sixth inning, or maybe it's the bottom of the fifth. Not sure. Let's see. Bottom of the fifth. So, yeah, we need to get Mullane through this inning just so I don't burn the bullpen up, and we need to give him the experience that he needs to try to improve. Not again. Another, another guy got injured? Man, we've had two guys injured in this game. Um, I'm guessing that that's the second baseman. Looks like the second baseman got injured. <laughs> so we will <coughs> we'll bring in Nick Lofton to play second. And he will be the second baseman. And we'll go back to game action. So there's two down, and that l is going to drop in for a single. And you can see Mullane is just about dead tired now. But he gets a he induces a fly ball here to center field. 
They didn't get any more runs, but we're going to need to warm somebody up in the bullpen. And I will warm up Josh Staumont. We'll go back to the game, and uh, Luis Sessa is now pitching for them. I don't know why. He's got a five-run lead. Maybe um, maybe McCullers was getting tired, but this guy comes in and gets greeted with a home run by us, and it's 6-2. to two. So we're, and we're starting. We're clawing our way back, it looks like, maybe. Vinny Cat Pasquatino is up. And he is going to strike out. And Fran Mil Reyes is the next batter. And he strikes out. So Sessa recovers nicely after allowing the first batter that he sees to Homer. Oliveris is up. Of course, we are early in the season, too. And a lot of teams uh, take guys out. Uh, so let's see. You still um, got Staumont is ready. And we are going to make Staumont the new pitcher. So now we're down by four. It's six to two. Let's see what Staumont can do. He allows a big bang on the first batter that Houston has, and that's a double. So Houston has a man at second with nobody out. And uh, Yaner Diaz, the batter. And he is going to hit a home run. So Houston is back ahead by the six runs. The six-run margin is now restored for Houston. And uh, Jose Abreu is the batter. Again, Houston, one of the better teams. There's a strikeout. Uh, one of the better teams in the American League. And there's another strikeout. So Stalmount recovers, but he recovers after he gives up two runs that really puts us at a very in a very precarious situation to even have a hope of coming back it looked like maybe we were starting to do that last inning but now it doesn't seem like that's even possible isbel will be the batter and he walks and uh sessa is still out there that's going to be a lifted uh, um pop out behind second base for Altuve with one down Nicky Lopez batting and he is going to hit into a fielder's choice so now he is aboard and the batter is Bobby Witt and Bobby Witt laces a base hit so we have two runners um, on at the corners and Nick Lofton who is on for an injured player, and uh, he is out. And again, we will check the injury report with our scouts and uh, you know, and our medical staff after the game is over to see what we're up against. Stalmont is he still got some gas in the tank. And as long as he can go, I want him to go because we don't want to burn the bullpen up in a game that we have clearly lost. That is going to be a pop-out behind second, or should be, and it is, which brings up David Hensley, their third baseman. And David Hensley is going to hit a home run. No, a double. He's going to hit a double off the wall. They are just going off on, this, on our pitching. We are clearly overmatched when it comes to the Houston Astros. We know that. We can see that. Um, it is nine to two, and uh, Stalman will be lucky to get out of this inning before he's completely gassed. He does strike out the next guy though, and um, and then that brings up Altuve. Altuve, who has homered today, and he strikes out. So we will get somebody up in the bullpen again. I think we need to have somebody ready. We'll get Colby White up. I know nothing about Colby White. And see, that's going to be part of the growing process is not only um, how good are these players, but um, I need to recognize how good each of them is 
Selvi is going to ground out and, you know, and then therefore use them in the correct situations and put this team in the best situation I can in order to win a game. And there's a base hit. So we do get a, a base hit. And up steps Fran Miel Reyes, one down with a man at first. And that is going to be a strikeout. So there is two away. And Sessa dealing to Oliveris. And Oliveris strikes out. I'm going to let... Uh, well, Stoudemire, I'm gonna let Stoudemire at least face the first batter, and that would be Jeremy Perez or Jeremy uh, Pena. And he does get him to to ground out to short. So there's one down. Now I will go to the bullpen because it appears that Stoudemire is gassed. We're gonna make that change. Colby White comes in. Colby White, I know nothing about, and uh, we're going to find out about him and he's going to deal to Kyle Tucker with one down and he strikes out Tucker or two down I guess two down there so um, we're going uh, Shelby Miller is now on pitching to um, Kyle Isbell so the uh, computer, the uh, out-of-the-park computer is managing the Astros as if this were a real-life um, second game of the season because that's how teams manage early in the season. They don't, uh, they, you know, they bring in a lot of relief pitching and they don't pitch guys more than five, you know, starters more than five. And, and really that's modern-day baseball even kind of in a way. And we get a base hit. And it's going to be a double. So we're just trying to right here, uh, down 9-2, we're just trying to see what uh, we can. Ooh, that's a nice hit too. So we get another run. We're just trying to take the positives away from this game going forward um, and then see how those might translate for us. It is nine to three, but there's two down, and Nick Lofton is the batter, and Nick Lofton is going to pop out. That should be a pop out for the final out of the game, and uh, yeah, final score nine to three there. I'll let you guys look at the box score really quick uh, for the batters. And then for us, Mullane went five. He allowed eight hits and six earned runs and walked four. So a rough first outing for Mullane. Stoumont went two and a third and allowed three runs. And then Colby White went two thirds and he was uh, fine in the two thirds. So uh, we will finish today. And we're going to review the depth charts um, because we now need a... Well, let me go back to um, let's go back to the manager's office and see what we can find out. So he brought up Hernandez. I don't know if this was before the game or after. Um, we've got some... Received Daniel Lynch from Omaha. Starting pitcher Daniel Lynch and Camargo from Omaha. And... Well, we don't have any, I, I don't seem to have an update on injuries, so I'm going to go to Kansas City's lineup, um, lineups and depth chart, and we're going to put in a different left fielder, and I, you know what, I want to get a look at Gavin Cross, so um, he looks like a young guy that could use a little playing time. He'll be the left fielder. And uh, versus lefties, we need a left fielder. 
and I guess we would go with um, let's go with Melendez he played a lot for us last year Uh, we got Isbell. All right. We're going to put Isbell back in center. And we're going to make Melendez the left fielder. And uh, so that's going to be that. And we will go back to the standings just to take a quick look at the standings after all of that. We are 0-2. Uh, the White Sox are 0-1. Detroit's 1-1. And, and Cleveland and Minnesota are each 1-0. So that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.